Hello everybody, Genesis King here, and welcome to a new Let's Play on the channel for the just released Aquatic Species Pack in Stellaris and the 3.2 update. So, we're getting back to Stellaris on the channel, took a little bit of a break, but we are back and we are diving right in as the Republic of Porpoises. We are Anglers Diplomatic Corps, uh, and I'm going to scroll over these, you can pause if you want to take a look. Uh, we're going to be Xenophile, Fanatic Materialist, Aquatic... Gotta get that aquatic in there. Intelligence, quarrelsome, deviants, and quick learners. So, that is what we are going to be playing as. Uh, this series, similar to my Nemesis series, if you haven't watched that, um, this will be set up as a he fairly heavily edited, with emphasis on the mechanics of the game, uh, but it will be edited down um, to less than 30 minute episodes, just as an FYI for going forward. We're gonna leave things pretty default here. I think we're gonna go with a medium galaxy size, um, we'll up the empires, or I upped them earlier to 10, um, and I think that's about good. Other than that, we're on Grand Admiral. Let's go. And what I need to know from you down in the comments is let me know what you are most looking forward to with the 3.2 update and the aquatic species pack. Um, I'm interested to hear what you guys have to say. I have what I'm interested in and looking forward to, but I'll touch on that in episode two. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I'm not going to read through any of that, and let's take a look at our starting position. Um, nothing, nothing too terrible. We've got our backs against the wall. That's fine. Easily to defend. Um, so let's get folks out and moving. Um, yeah, you go that way. That'll be fine. Uh, construction ship. Let's at least get our... Yes, get our research up. That's going to be fine. And the backstory for our species is we are starting in Seoul. Uh, and we are starting on Earth. And the story that I have made up in my head, and you guys can build off of this, edit it, change it, whatever you want to do. We are the Republic of Porpoises. Humanity died off for some reason at some point, and the porpoises, the dolphins, rose to power, became sentient, and have reached out into the stars. So that's the background story. We're going to kind of role play that um, in this series. Again, fairly heavily edited. Uh, and a role play series. Let's get another science ship up and running. Let's get our research selected and then we can go ahead and unpause. I think we, yeah, we don't need fusion reactors yet. Um, let's go with the boost. Uh, monthly unity. I want the pop growth speed and minerals from uh, engineering. Army damage, minerals from jobs plus 5%. Let's get the boost early on and I think that's going to be okay. And let's go. I think my favorite ship, weirdly enough, and I usually don't say this about um, ship sets, my favorite ship in this pack is honestly the science ship. I love this thing. Like, I could see this as a Corvette, you know? I could see it as a Corvette. I, I don't know. I love this thing. It's great. All right. Um, other science ship is off the line. We are just waiting for some credits. And nope, we don't have anybody discounted, so we will wait one more tick here. Oh! Tick has gone by. Research speeds, new world, void crap. You know what? I don't think it matters. Let's grab the youngest one. Let's go. All right, let's take a look at our home world. Our empire capital is Earth. Not too bad, not too bad. What is our growth rate here? That's 4.95 a month. Okay, we're starting out pretty good. We will have an additional job. Uh, and something else I wanted to point out here while our, our, our folks are surveying is that one of the things we get with the... Oh, which trait is it? I don't remember off the top of my head. Yes, with anglers. So on wet worlds, armors are replaced by anglers and pearl divers. So if you... We'll get eight food from it, two trade, and pearl divers also pr produce consumer goods. So if we come back over here and look at our population, pearl diver right there. Um, the upkeep is fine. But they are producing those consumer goods, which should keep us keep us in check. Uh, and then you see here anglers rather than farmers. So hopefully we come across a habitable world here pretty soon. That's a desert world, so that's a no. Uh, and you know what? Let's go ahead and queue up the additional survey spots that we want these guys to go to, just so we don't have to worry about it. Not that this is going to be a peaceful let's play by any means but I think we are going to try to play a little bit more diplomatically 
Um, I think we are going to try to make alliances, federations, etc. Uh, and hopefully we can put our five, five envoys to very, very good use for spying and, and all of that good stuff. Uh, the discovery of alien life. The ISS Prosperous has made a startling find on Clarissium 2. The planet is teeming with alien life. For the first time in history, we have encountered life forms that did not originate on Earth. Because again, dolphins... Yeah, whatever. Uh, yeah, we may not be alone out here. That's fine. You've managed to survey that. That's not a great system. So hopefully one of our habitable worlds is over here. Fingers crossed. Uh, and wherever that habitable world ends up is the direction we are going to start building out our empire. Contact report, simple forms of life. Okay. And yeah, guys, also, I, I know I've asked you guys a lot of questions to put in the comments, but I definitely want to have you guys tell me what specifically you'd like me to do in this Let's Play, uh, what we need to accomplish uh, as far as new mechanics go, new stuff with the update, the 3.2, and um, the Aquatic Species Pack, etc. Um, our recent encounters with alien life forms has reignited and made suddenly more urgent the old debate on how we should approach contacting any potentially intelligent alien civilizations we meet. While some advocate focusing on establishing friendly relations as quickly as possible, contact them with a message of peace, other advise caution. Uh, we will greet them with open arms, and if we want to punch them in the face, we can do that later. That's fine. Ooh, we get the Volton Star Assembly. Let's there is new go. You know what? Let's go ahead and get another... Uh-oh! Uh, Construct for Isis Reed has encountered a hijacked fleet in Seoul. <sighs> what? Um... Those bastards. Um, okay. Uh, the Grey Disciples. Centuries ago, a group of radical priests and their devoted followers on Earth broke away from the established religious religions to form their own church. These extremists called themselves the Grey Disciples and have been responsible for many atrocities and acts of terror over the years. Although they have kept a low profile in modern times, we recently learned that many of their agents have infiltrated our military. These renegades have secretly been diverting resources to the construction of a small fleet of starships at a hidden facility on Earth. When their treasury was revealed, the cultists blasted into orbit on their ships and fled to Scoundrel's Hideout. It must be stopped. Don't tell me I'm going to lose my construction ship. Uh, an anomaly is routine. You know what? My general strategy with these early on is to get, um, is to get stuff surveyed. So we're just going to leave this for now, I think. Yes, let's pause. Where is our fleet? It is only 108, um, but let's, yeah, let's definitely try to get them in range of this station and we'll see how this goes. All right, fleet, go hit them. Uh, ooh, wow, we've already got rare, rare crystals discovered. Okay. Yeah, you came within the station, man. That's a terrible strategic mistake here, bro. Terrible strategic mistake. Crack their faces. And please don't lose a ship on our end. Please. Ulta's ship has been disabled. Prepare the breaching charge. Okay, now do I need... Uh, what do I need for this? I need a science ship. Okay, you know what? We needed a science ship anyways. Let's get another science ship going and we'll do that and then we'll head out um, to survey. Okay, cool. Um, well, because I, I like to be organized, we'll, we'll start up here on the left. Um... I do think we want to start with expansion. Ooh, or do we want to go subterfuge? Not expansion, sorry. I meant we have to go discovery. Get our science going. All right, yep, let's go discovery. We'll start with that. Um, science ship is available. We've got the cash. Let us, where are you at? There you are. Let's get a leader. Experience gain, but, oh, you know what? Experience gain and they're young. I will take that. All right, you. Research that project, please. Um, I've got you queued up for a couple more. You are going to head that way. And construction ship. 
You know what? We might as well. We might as well go claim that. We'll get some extra minerals, some extra science coming in. Um, we got to be doing something until we find that first habitable world. Got to be doing something. Habitable world survey. Yes, this is a commendable thing. Armies. Let's just get one assault army uh, and we'll go board that. And lies debris. Good stuff. Yeah. Ugh. I know I, I will say this every time I play this game, but man, is this game absolutely gorgeous. It, ugh, it's absolutely gorgeous. Nebula block outside sensors. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. So we start with a nebula so enemies can't read our home war home system. Pretty cool. Um, we'll leave that and we'll come back. We'll, we'll leave it and we'll come back. We grow ever stronger. There's a continental world. Um, let's get research going and then let's get mining. Okay. Army ship is done. Let's go board these guys and be done with it. Contact report. Enigmatic spacefarers. Okay. Encounter in cold axe. <gasps> really? Interesting. Pause for a second. Where did we? Oh, down here. Okay. All right. Let's get somebody assigned to this. Uh, Let's get an envoy. One thing I do hope they build out in the future uh, in Stellaris is... I don't know, more traits like these guys are leaders to begin with. Something that I I, I kind of want want them to go for, but you know. Alright. We'll research these guys. That'll be fine. I guess they're hostile, so that sucks. Um survey. Did I not I must have clicked on the wrong thing here. Um I can get back like that. Wait, where's the... Over there, do I have to come up here and do this? There we go. All right, so we'll get that going. Oh, what is that habitability gonna be? It's not gonna be great. I mean, it'll be better than nothing. A uh, boarding action. Though, or yeah, though, yes, <laughs> though the survivors offered stiff resistance, our boarding party was able to secure several prisoners from the disabled cultist ship. From them, we have learned that the conspiracy goes far deeper than we initially suspected. The agents of the Great Disciples include several flag officers and high-ranking officials within our government. Mass arrests are being made on Earth, and all assets belonging to this cult have been seized. However, several of the starships they built in secret remain unaccounted for, and the upper echelons of the cult leadership have vanished. We have picked up faint ion trails leading several outlying systems. Okay, so we're going to be dealing with them uh, for quite, not quite a while, but uh, we'll be dealing with them. Our lookouts have detected an anomaly. If we take some unused, you know what? Go ahead and research that. We've got multiple science ships running now. I, I think we can do that. And that should be fine. All right, Earth. Uh, next pop that rolls off is going to need a job. What do we want to do here? I think we want to start building up our alloy production. That's how I usually go about it. Encounter an Abaddon's Demes. Nah. Sure. We made first contact. Okay. Let's go do that very briefly. Where is first contact? God, I hope we're not locked into this corner. All right. That going. First contact event is pending. Okay. We've discovered a new life form in Let's 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 slow down here momentarily. Uh we have discovered a new life form in Coldax. Although calling it a life form may be incorrect, the entities appear to be fully automated mechanical drones built exclusively for some unknown industrial purpose. A okay. uh, magnetic reversal. Magnetic field of Hixarios Va. Or Va, my god. <laughs> 5A. 
experienced a complete reversal while it was being observed by the ISS Prosperous. This rare event has interchanged the positions on the moon's magnetic poles. It's science. Nice. You're gonna survey that. And then you're gonna survey that. We might actually, if this is another empire, well, you know what? They may have already. I think the smart move right now is to go build that starbase so we can go this way if we need to. Because I have a, uh, they may already claim, yeah, whatever. You know what? We'll, we'll find out as we go. Okay. We do finally need that job now. Um, you know what? We're not going to do the alloy foundry. Let's just go ahead and go with the industrial district for now, I think. Takes 12 minerals, so that would basically cut in half our production. Yeah, let's go with the industrial, uh, and then we'll double back next time, and we will do mining. Oh. 116. <laughs> okay. We need to... Uh, go to Fleet Manager. Let's get two more built. Fine, let's assign a leader. Hip Logistics, Merchant Fail, da, 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 da. Leader Lifespan, ugh. I don't like any of these choices. Let's go with the upkeep. That'll be fine. Okay, we'll let those Corvettes build, uh, and then we will go take care of the Cultists. And you aren't able to go down there at this point in time, so we might as well. 60% habitability. Am I really not going to get an ocean world? I, I This may end up being the one planet challenge, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Anomaly, you know what? Let's go ahead and research it. That's fine. Yeah, we're going to have to go punch through that before we do anything else. Let's let's just start claiming systems for now. Um, may not be the best long term strategy, but I do feel like we need to get some of this stuff going. I'll come off. We'll get some jobs out of that and we should should be OK. You're not repaired. Oh, have you not been sitting at the station? Um, I'm, I'm glad I noticed that. Uh, sonified science. Isolated signal emboldened with the unusual pattern of interference in Padma system. The signal is a song. Aw, oh, like the whales that we used to know until we wiped them out. Um, we being the, the dolphins. Uh, a complex sonification of advanced mathematical equation to be precise. Curious. Hey, we get science out of it. Uh, okay, once we're repaired, we're going to go handle this. Um, all right, let's move into survey speed. It's fine. All right, are we good to go, guys? Okay, we are good to go. Let's go take care of these cultists. Hopefully we don't lose too many ships there, but should be fine. Um, ooh, another first contact event. I want to watch that battle, so let's pause here. Living space debris? Envoy Ahmad Baldasser is still working to confirm the hypothesis that the irregularity we had designated as gamma aliens is in fact a living organism. While it seems to be made up of a cluster of random stardust, it is demonstrably able to propel itself across the void and shows basic signs of independent agency. Our researchers are perplexed by the phenomenon and are working hard to verify our readings. Okay. Boys, oh, you are. Go down here. We grow ever stronger. Destroy them. A system has been charted. Um, ooh, hellish? Yeah, no, we'll leave that for now. All right, let's, let's drop the speed to normal and let's watch. I mean, we've almost got them double, doubled up on ships here, so we should be fine. And speaking of ships, again, these things are flipping gorgeous. Love it. Absolutely love it. All right, go ahead. 
We gotta kick this door open so our construction ship can get down here. We lost anything? Are we gonna lose anything? Uh, you're down to your hole, but you should be fine. I hope. Hey, cultist fleet destroyed. All right. Go repair, boys. Um, another first contact event. Hey, ancient mining drones. Nice. Uh, 158 days, and we should have this job filled. I think we'll move right into a second job, because I believe this gives two jobs, right? Yeah, one artisan, one metallurgist. Okay. Now, the question becomes, do we want to go ahead and colonize this? Even though it's at 60% for us. I don't think we do. And what this sort of tells me, at least, is that as a species, if we were sitting out there looking at 20% habitability, 60% habitability, if we can rush um, terraforming, that might be a good call for us to do, to be perfectly honest. That may be what we want to go with. Again, as, as I always say in these Let's Plays, let me down in the comments, let me know down in the comments, rather, uh, if there's a specific direction that you would like for this Let's Play to go in. If there's something you specifically want to see me do, um, we can definitely, definitely take those suggestions down in the comments. Let's get another construction ship going. All right, another first contact event, Gamma Aliens. Void Cloud. An investigation into a peculiar cluster of debris and space dust previously dubbed pause. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Previously dubbed Gamma Aliens has yielded surprising results. It is a, oh, excuse me. It is a particulate cloud bristling with a powerful charge of unknown origin that has no business exhibiting simple reflexive actions, let alone movements with purpose. <laughs> or porpoise. That, that was bad and I apologize for that. And yet it does. There is something undeniably ominous about the hazy subject of the related video feeds. Let's watch. Okay. All right, this is done. So, oops. Pop growth speed, new research. Uh, as though our pops weren't growing fast enough already. Growing even faster now. Um, Food from farmers and anglers plus 20%. Gene clinics. Man, they really just want our population to grow very quickly here. Uh, we'll take the cheap research and get the boost in food. And we are about to finish two other th of these. So we will keep an eye on that. You done yet? 26 days. Unpausing would also be helpful. Let's get it rolling. I do think we're going to want to slowly build up the fleet. Um, Slowly but surely. Go ahead and up that. And let's actually go take a look at our ship designer. Here's our defense platforms. Oh yeah, that's um, that's not phallic or anything, is it? No, no, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, we'll leave these as is for now. I love it. Uh, cool thoughts. We didn't detect life forms below the surface. We detected them in the entire world. The frozen planet is interspersed with micro thin tubes, linked like a rudimentary computer. While the structure is primitive, its gigantic scale means it can probably rival some of Earth's supercomputers in output. Even now, the computer seems to be active. Our scientists can interface with it, but since it's so slow, we'd only be able to ask it a single question. Can you see solve these calculations? Who made you? Uh, we get research. Get research there. Who came before us? Oh, we get a recovered artifact. What are we? Best observe it from afar. Ooh, so we could get plus four engineering research just watching it. We can get a boost of 500, 566 for society. You know what? Let's let's take the artifact. Yeah, let's take the artifact. Intellectual booty. Research boost done.
Ooh, that'll take 46 months. That will take 57, but it would boost our survey speed, which is not a bad thing. Plus 5% to our research speed. Oh, take the research speed boost. I think that'll be fine. I think it's fine. Yes, we'll go with that. All right, construction ship. Go build me that star base. Uh, you go move there, and then when we tick over to the other next month, I guess we'll claim this. But again, guys, let me know if we should even try colonize this at 60% habitability. I mean, so far, we may not m have much of a choice. So either I guess we go into um, terraforming or we try to get habitats as early as possible. After burners, strike craft. And station? Sure, let's go with the mining station output. Out, out, put. Words be tough today. And you're doing literally nothing. Okay, survey. Survey. Wish we could get past this. It's going to be a hot second before we can take them out. Unfortunately. Um, yeah, same thing there. But I think that's going to be okay. Uh, ooh, we found an abandoned gateway. Where? That didn't work. Uh, oh, at Eternal Horizon. Okay. Lovely. Lovely. <laughs> okay. Um, our difficulty, let's leave it. You, we're going to send this away. I want to see, I assume that connects, but um, I'm not sure. Go ahead and build that mining station for me. You go ahead and build me that starbase. Uh, of course, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, cultists encountered out here in your curry. Hopefully this guy can get the hell out. It looks like they can. They're at 167. There's nothing terribly important, I think, in this system. So I think we can wait to go clear that out, and that's not going to be a problem. And I don't think those fleets move, so we, we should be just fine. Should be just fine. I've got you queued up to go ahead and construct that. You are constructing that. And I think we want to come out this way. Oh, I wish that connected so badly. Really, really wish it did. All right, so economy-wise, we're doing fine. Um, we could use more minerals. Yeah, we could use more minerals. Um, all jobs are filled, so this will require a new job in 10 months. Let's go ahead and get mining district. Although, you know what? How much are these per? One per, okay. Let's get that mining district going because we need to boost that. We're doing fine on food for now. Um, and you know what I didn't look at? Hmm. Let's pause for a second here. Uh, I didn't look at edicts. Hmm. We want to save that, so we're not going to do it. Um, let's go ahead and look at policies. You know what we'll do? We'll leave that for the next episode. We'll jump right in and change policies. A lot of it really hasn't mattered because we haven't run into any other empires. So we'll look at that at the start of the next episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you have enjoyed this first episode. I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more Stellaris and sci-fi gaming fun. Later, everybody.